Dorothy Stang was born in Dayton and attended Julianne High School. She became a nun with the Sisters of Notre Dame and moved to the state of Pará in the Brazilian Amazon, where she lived for nearly 35 years. Stang was known for her commitment to social justice for the landless poor and fought to preserve the Amazon rainforest. Because of her work, Stang was gunned down by a paid pistolero February 12, 2005. She was 73 years old. Just before the gunman pulled the trigger for the first of six shots, Stang read to him from her Bible, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Stang became a missionary with the Sisters of Notre Dame in Brazil four decades ago. She helped defend poor settlers and fought against the illegal seizure of public land in the state of Pará. After receiving death threats from wealthy ranchers and loggers in the area, she said, I don't want to flee, nor do I want to abandon the struggle of the farmers who live without protection in the forest. They have the sacrosanct right to aspire to a better life on land where they can live and work with dignity while respecting the environment. In May, on a trip to a peasant farmer settlement, David Stang, her brother, wore a t-shirt bearing a photograph of his sister. A woman living in the settlement recognized the image of Sister Dorothy Stang, and when she realized David was Dorothy's brother, embraced him. Dorothy Stang was widely known for her work with the poor throughout Brazil. The nun's passion also included saving the Amazon rainforest from decimation by farming, logging, and agribusiness interests. According to Greenpeace, approximately one-third of the deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon takes place in the state of Pará. In a letter sent home in 2002, Stang wrote, We are in a land struggle. The big logging firms found our road in the forest, and some 20 are in operation, tearing out our magnificent trees. We are seeking government help for the poor who live on this land to live in a stable way that sustains our fragile ecosystem. On May 14, 2007, the trial for Vitomiro Mora, known as Bida, the wealthy rancher who ordered Stang's murder, began. More than 700 small farmers and peasants have been killed in the past 30 years, yet none of the mandantes, the wealthy ranchers who ordered the murders, have served jail time. Judge Jaimundo Flesha started the courtroom proceedings. Outside in the park, located across from the state courthouse in Belen, Brazil, a tent city had sprouted up. Hundreds of agricultural workers traveled from all over Brazil to keep an eye on the proceedings. They erected tents out of black plastic and slept on donated mattresses. Religious services were held and folk songs were sung about hard work, the soul of the state, and hope for the people. Attorneys for the prosecution grilled the defendant. Dorothy Stang's brothers, twins David and Tom, attended the trial. This was the eighth trip to Brazil for David Stang. The defense was heated and theatrical. Lead defense attorney Americo Leal called on the jury to remember their Brazilian patriotism, stating, The cancer of George Bush is spreading to the world. Don't let it spread to the Amazon. After closing arguments ended the second day of the trial, the seven-member jury left the courtroom to make their individual decisions about the case. David Stang held the hands of Sister Ellen Dabrio and Sister Rebecca Spires as they waited for the jury to return and the judge to announce the verdict. In just 20 minutes, the jury was backed with their verdict, guilty. The judge sentenced Bita to 30 years in prison, the maximum sentence. Outside, the people in the tent city erupted in spontaneous celebration. The people danced and sang with joy. The decision was seen as a momentous triumph for the rights of Brazil's poor. David Stang described the scene. My twin brother and I, as we left the courtroom and came outside to this tent city, the people were in great joy. They were out there dancing, breathing in freedom. And so as we came down the steps, and they saw Tom and I. We symbolize uh, the story of Dorothy to them. And uh, they jumped up for joy, they grabbed us, and took us in with them, and began the dance 
of freedom.